Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. This week, we're gonna talk about doing stuff now to save yourself time later and staying motivated. What is something you can do now in the off season that will save yourself time later? Polyurethane, what? Polyurethane. What? What do I use polyurethane for? Well, for one, I've always used it throughout the years to stay motivated and to stay on task. Before I had uh, the Christmas on Crest on YouTube channel, I would have to find stuff throughout the off season to keep myself motivated. Uh, we've had our Christmas photo prop, which is eight feet by four feet, and we've had that for several years now. It is oil painted. And I do not want that bad boy to get sun damage. I don't want the colors to fade. They need to pop, and they need to pop all the time every year. What I do with that is I protect it, and I use this Ultimate Polyurethane Water-Based. Uh, this is Superior Scratch Resistant. It's soap and water cleanup, and it's fast drying time. So soap and water cleanup was important to me when I was looking at what to use to keep the colors popping because at the end of the year, it's been out there in the snow, it's been out there in the ice, it's been out there in the rain, the grass, and I can just use soap and water and I can clean that bad boy off. Now originally I used four cans on that uh, to keep it nice and clean. But I would do that in the off season to keep myself motivated and engaged in my animated Christmas light show. Uh, the, the meat of the season for us, the heart of the season is Thanksgiving to New Year's Day. Uh, if you're a dual holidayer, holidayer, dual hol holiday decorator, uh, and you're a Halloween person as well, then you're gonna have stuff out from October 1st to January 1st. Um, that's gonna get sun damage. Now for you folks who do inflatables, I would prefer or I would suggest that you use um, Scotchgard. Scotchgard is for fabric based items, which inflatables are. Now at my local grocery store where I get my uh, Scotchgard, it's $10 for a can. Um, and that, I have three inflatables now I use for Halloween. It's the only time I use inflatables and I will Scotchgard those. Uh, those aren't necessarily cheap they're just like anything we do uh, for our Christmas light show or for our holiday light shows they're gonna cost us some money at my hardware store they run normally for an average inflatable hundred dollars all the way up to five hundred dollars the neatest ones are in that two hundred fifty dollar and up range so if I'm gonna drop that kind of cash I'm going to make sure it pops and it looks vibrant each and every year so I scotch guard all my inflatables my blow molds, I only have one, and I use the polyurethane on that when I do. I don't use Scotchgard on any type of plastic. I do use the polyurethane, um, and that keeps the colors vibrant. I only have to buy them once, ideally, as long as there's no vandalism, theft, or damage. And so I wanna protect my investment and protect the colors. We all want them to be vibrant. So that's one thing I would suggest you do in the off season, uh, put it on your calendar, put it in your, your Google calendar, your handwritten calendar at work, your scheduler, whatever you use that reminds you to do it. Uh, put a set day, like hey, tax day, April 15th, go out and polyurethane the, um, the prop, go out and scotch guard the inflatables. Um, just something to kind of keep yourself engaged in it. Um, that's what I do, that's what I had to do before I had the YouTube channel is I would have to do stuff now and I would put them in my Google Calendar and that would remind me what to do. I would do at least one thing each and every month just to stay engaged. And the reason why I started that is, oh, eight, nine years ago, um, I waited and it was, it was middle of August, it might have actually been the end of August. And I'm like, I haven't done anything all year. I don't have any new songs. I don't have anything going on. I have done nothing with this all year long. And I ended up having pretty much the exact same show I had the year before. Um, I am a big proponent of, well, doing stuff now to save yourself time later, but also adding at least one more neat prop, one more neat uh, thing. Uh, for some folks that could be adding the strobe lights, adding a ton of strobe lights. 
would be my suggestion. But adding that one thing, um, that way people know your customers who come by and see your show, know you're evolving, know you're going to grow, know you're going to be part of their family tradition, and they want to make you part of their family tradition. Uh, and one thing is to have a professional looking show, making everything look vibrant by protecting your color, keep it from getting sun damage. So that's my challenge to you. Uh, that's what I would recommend is I always call it future Charlie. What is future Charlie going to be happy or mad at me? And I, my wife and I joke around, future Charlie is going to hate this guy because I'm going to make him do it because I'm not doing that right now. Or future Charlie is going to love me because I'm going to knock this out right now. So that's my suggestion to you. And polyurethane is what I use spray can. The only time I ever use roller or paintbrush is like for my Santa's workshop. I'll I'll uh, roll everything or I'll use a paintbrush on that. I don't think there's anything at all on there that I've used spray on. Everything else, I'll use my spray on, my blow mold, uh, my prop. Anything that's painted gets polyurethane. Um, my one blow mold, um, I use polyurethane on, and my three inflatables for my Halloween show, which is very small, it's just decorations. I just do a still show. Um, but those get scotch guarded. So that's my suggestion for you. This is just something you can do now to save yourself time later. Today's shout out. Today's shout out goes to a good friend of the show, Kansas Amanda. Kansas Amanda is pretty funny. She's a, she, this comes from her Instagram page. And she got on our uh, a still that we took of um, our behind the scenes of a Christmas light show episode, and I had some uh, pictures I took from that episode, and I put them up on Instagram and kind of did some fun things with them. And she commented uh, that sweater or your sweater is top notch. I mean hoodie, but she's pretty funny. Check her out on her Instagram page. She uh, I think her most recent video she talks about. Uh, when she gets her nails fun, nails done, it makes her feel like all gangsta and gives her a little bit of attitude when her kids come home like, oh no, mom got her nails done, watch out. Mom's got some attitude. So she's pretty funny and she's extremely handy. She's always building things on, on, uh, on her page. She does videos and stuff on her Instagram page. So check her out on Instagram. But today's shout out does go to Kansas Amanda from our Instagram page. So uh, as a reminder, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on obviously YouTube, and of course on Patreon. Uh, for our Patreon uh, users, you get some uh, ex exclusive content for being a supporter of this show through Patreon. Um, you get firecracker lights for joining, you get some neat stuff. Um, but these um, starburst lights behind me, we, I just ordered a bunch of new ones in red, green, and blue, and those are going to be a giveaway I'll be doing for promotion for Patreon this summer. So by all means, check us out on Patreon, support us on there, and you do get some free swag. Uh, all kind of neat new stuff, hats, coins, firecracker lights, starburst lights, some neat stuff. So check us out on Patreon. Uh, do stuff now to save yourself time later. I promise your future self will love you for it. Plus, it helps you stay engaged and the holiday uh, spirit of everything. So I'm Charlie, thank you for watching. Don't forget to put a comment below. I need some topics for some upcoming shows. So I'm Charlie, I'll see you guys in the next video.